So yeah. I think it's such a cool analogy and story in the sense that, hey, you get margin in your life that allows you to, you know, still operate correctly, even if a rat comes and eat your edges. <laughs> wow. We got this. Good clip. Yeah. Let, let, me know, let me know if you understood what I talk about. Did, did, it, no, make, I lo- I love did, it. did it make sense? I love it. Or does it was just like total crazy? Hashtag storage in the books we got in the comments. <laughs> yes, Jim, thank you. You asked me for a Red Bull uh, at 8 p.m. Uh, the other day I'm like who are you and I didn't drink it till 10 no actually more 11 because we watch a few episodes of I know Demon Slayer <laughs> which I feel like this is the first time I make this public in the podcast you're a I'm otaku a, I'm an otaku if you don't know what that means that means I, Google I, it. Google I it. really enjoy anime yeah. yes I am one of those alright Fonzie okay. let me tell you we tell have me. we have 10 minutes yeah we're, we this is gonna be minutes. fast I, and I have a very important conversation in 10 minutes and I really wanted to get this out there to the world. Fonzie has no idea what we're going to be talking about, but uh, I think he's going to make good comments. So with that said, here we go. Hey, I'm Luis. And I'm Luis. And you're listening to the Content is Profit podcast. Where we talk about entrepreneurship, mindset, and of course, how to turn your content into profit. But most importantly... We're here to have a good time with you, baby. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. Please go to contestprofit.com to get started today and join the community. Did you forget your other part? Almost. Uh, I don't have my GG in front of me. I have something that I wrote on LinkedIn two days ago. Right. Uh, is, you should be proud. I is wrote. That we're going to be talking about? Yeah. yeah, I'm proud that you wrote. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually disappointed. I haven't <laughs> written as much as I've been wanting. That was one um, of my... Not New Year's resolutions, but it was one of my New Year's. This is one of the things I want to focus more on this year. It was writing, and um, I have not. So, congrats. Yeah. Thank High you, five. Bro. High there five. we go. Um, one of the things that we talked about is, like, on the creation process, whenever, like, we're trying to conquer, like, consistency, is trying to found, find that, that version of, or, like, a uh, vehicle for you to create. For us, the podcast is very powerful, obviously. It has kept us consistent. By the way, we're about to turn two years in the show. Can you believe Ooh. it? Are we going to have a birthday cake? We, I, Like, I was thinking, we need, like, a podcast birthday party, especially with the news that are coming in March. Especially. Let's do it. Yes. When, when is your podcast birthday? I know it's uh, in March somewhere, I, sometime. I think it's the 13th or the 17th, but All it's right, there. Let's, let's do it. Let's bring a cake. Let's have a couple guests come Shit. in, like, we'll in rotation. Hours. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, happy hour. that hours. would be so cool. And that'd be cool. Yeah, and we just... And we just uh, uh, if, if you have any idea for cool questions that you would like to uh, for us to ask or previous guests, let us know in the comments. Send us a DM at Beast Bros. We're going to have to do, like, that whole week has to, like, we're, we're probably going to have to do a the three episodes. A theme. B- birthday theme. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. But also yes. on the birthday, let's make an episode where we bring in a lot of people. And we're just having, like, well, that's awesome, what I'm saying. Like, the whole cool week. We have three, three, three shows because we have, have so many amazing guests. We cannot just close the doors to no, all of them. No. I know. I know. Oh, it was okay. Like, so you say the same type of the format, same format all, all, three. all week. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm we down. have, like, 20 people, like, day one, 20 people the other way. Like, we'll see. Like, who, who says yes? We'll I'm down. I'm down. I think that's going to be a great idea. Oh, it's going to be so Ooh. good. Ooh. Let's Wee. go. <laughs> let's hey, go. let's go. Party, party. Okay. Um, okay, Fonzie, I'm, I'm ready to get this started. So um, let me... Um, so earlier this week, I was on a call with one of our coaches. Amazing. Uh, Jerry McNamara. He shout out to him. Um, you, f- you, you slept through that call because you went to bed at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> I literally sent him a text. I was like, guys, I'm not going to be able to go on the call because I'm about to go to sleep. Yeah. And he was awake already. He was like, dude, what? What?" Yeah, by the way, Brad, what's up, my man? Thank you so much. Yes, uh, it's crazy. Uh, so also, Brad over here in the comments, uh, he has an incredible show. He he teaches how to go live. So And he's been on the show. So Brad, you're going to be part of that birthday <laughs> week. I know. Awesomeness I know. that we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, ooh, by the way, like if, you, if you're listening and you're like, who the hell is Brad? Well, Come hang out live with us on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Anyways, okay. Um, all right. So I was talking to, to Jerry after Fonzie, you know, slept through through the call. It's okay. But he, by the way, is, is for a good reason. Jim, what's up, my man? Good, good seeing you. Uh, he slept for a good reason. Uh, super awesome project that we're starting to work this week. I'm very excited with the people that... I don't know if we can announce it yet, but soon. There's so many tangents. Get to the point. I know, get, get to, to the, the point. point. Okay, okay. <laughs> so over the last two weeks, um, I've been personally on a detox... Detox environment. I felt like I was telling Jerry that I I, I felt like a like a detox for the last two weeks. Not nothing bad, but we were working on a project that the environment was uh, really negative uh, over the last seven months. We we're executing on this project. Things were moving forward. Things were going great. 
under my point of view, communication was, cl was clearly not uh, not up there. Uh, the systems were put in place. I can, I can maybe I, we. I'll do a full debrief on that. But anyways, to me that was a very negative experience, and uh, we kind of parted ways a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, and uh, it took me a second to kind of regain the old Luisda. <laughs> you know, maybe on the show it, it didn't show, but like on the back. It, it was so still a wound, not a scar, so not ready to fully share on it. But Jerry kind of helped me uh, put things in motion. Fonzie helped me put things in motion. My wife helped me put things in motion, and uh, it got to a point where he goes and says. This is perfect. You're like a flea on fire. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, let me turn this into a, pr into a principle. So basically is put your foot down to the gas, to, like it was a gas to the metal, right? Uh, pedal to, pedal the metal. to the metal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you, oh you, can, you can tell we're not good with like uh, Ameri analog American Amer expressions. American analogies, <laughs> yeah. And it's basically over the last two weeks, we've been able to um, increase the speed of a lot of the things that we've done. And we've we found incredible momentum. So there's a couple of things that we cannot just announce yet. They're going to be coming in the next couple of weeks, but things are moving forward very, very quickly. So with that said, uh, the, I was able to identify a few things that uh, that helped me. Specifically, three things. The first one is change of environment, right? So over the last two weeks, I've been going through the detox process, <laughs> gas to the metal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. That's a new, that's a new shirt. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, Jim, you're invited to, to the birthday party <laughs> for content is profit. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So obviously the first one is, you know, change of my environment, right? Over the last two weeks, I've been working through a detox process and I'm reading the post that I put in there. I was in a very negative and exhausting work environment with one of our projects. We cut ties a couple of weeks ago and that brought back capacity and space to breathe and research. Shout out to George Bryant. That concept of breathing, like it's helped me a lot where you can like just slow down, take a breather. And then I've been applying that during the week. So Fancy, like, uh, have you experienced something like that when, when you change environment? I think so. I personally think I need to change more of my environment. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been in the same environment for, for a while, but I do relate to that opening space, opening capacity, and actually just reminded me of margins, right? And I think you know the story I'm going to talk about. Um, we actually, shout out to Jason Duncan, another person, another awesome guest that we had on the podcast. We, yeah. we got to invite him to the birthday party as well. And he was talking about the ability of having margins in, in your life, right? If see capacity as the letters inside of a book, if you write from the the very end, beginning of the page to the very end, you got no margins, right? And it, everything is just very tight. But if you put margins, you get extra space to put notes on the side, right? Make reflections. You get that, that, that blank space in your life that allows you to do more. Now, it's a very cool analogy because books, when they started, they actually didn't have those margins. And the reason books started having margins is because where they were uh, kind of like packaging them, just hold, what, say, storaging them. <laughs> wow, that was a tough word. Where, where, where they were storaging the books, there were a lot of rats and the rats would come and eat the books on the edges. And if the book didn't have a margin, they would be eating inside of the book and then information the, so, will be lost. Information will be lost. So yeah. I think it's such a cool analogy and story that sense that, hey, you get margin in your life that allows you to, you know, still operate correctly, even if a rat comes and eat your edges. <laughs> wow. We got this. Good clip. Yeah. Let, let me know <laughs> let me know if you understood what I talk about. Did, did it no, make I lo I love did, it. did it make sense? I love it. Or does it was just like <laughs> total crazy? Hashtag storage in the books we got in the car. Yes, Jim, thank you. Jim, uh, Jim the, knows the, that it's all the about hashtag that, creator. the good hashtags. It's yeah. all about having the good hashtags in there. All right, element number two that helped us like move things forward is prioritize the items that move the needle forward. First step is to identify what those items are. For us, it was the in increasing the speed of sales, right? We build a new system, start executing consistently every single day. In one week, we went from no calls in the calendar to 15 in the next four days. Work like a flea on fire. I remember like texting Jerry. I'm like, dude, this is what's happened, right? And, uh, you know, for 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 uh, sake of the background, we've used the show as a, as a main pillar, which still is, right? 
but there were uh, steps in the process after the interviews that we kind of like let go of that process. <laughs> Look at uh, uh, Fonzie. <laughs> Fonzie chokes the mic. <laughs> Fonzie chokes the mic, yeah. yeah. Um, for those that uh, are not watching video, please go to the video and yeah. you see Fonzie. But well, that's, a, that's a reference too to the, the old show, old right? Show. The good yeah. old days. The, the good old days, <laughs> Jim. We miss you, buddy. Um, so when I was texting Jerry this, like I'm like, like we impl what we implemented was uh, a different approach to the one on the show because mm -hmm. we needed speed of sale. So we're like, okay, well, who's the, what's the low hanging fruit right now of people that we can communicate right off the bat? So the example, is, and we can break down this pipeline later, but it was the people that requested our friendship on Facebook. So basically we built a quick pipeline in one of our amazing softwares. If you're interested, let me know. But it started to reach out and basically transition them into a group or a phone call to find out why they were doing what they're doing and then transition them into possibly possibly one of our services possibly possibly <laughs> so uh full like full numbers on it right out of 50 initial contacts that we made for 50 new people um 15 and i think today is like 23 book calls so again identify thank you Fonzie. thank you uh Good job. Thank you. <laughs> I know I've been on headphones like for the for the past like five days, uh, which is great. But is allow, allowing us to gather a lot of feedback and prep, and we have a couple of people starting on new things that that we're that we're announcing soon. So identify that. What's that for you? For us, was speed of sales. We need to move this fast. We need to have more conversations. We need to have these conversations faster, and then create that minimal viable execution plan. And start doing it, right? So it wasn't perfect from day one, but the first week allowed me to basically build the rest of it. And now we can put somebody in place to continue the, the, the process. Yeah. I think sometimes the sight of, oh, I need to do this and what it all entails can be very overwhelming, right? Because, yeah. I mean, we've been talking about this for a while. Right. And we kind of been on and off a little bit, like implementing and then we stop and then implement and then we stop. And I think personally, at least the thought of, oh, man, I need to fix this whole pipeline, the messaging, the, the cadence, like just the, the big the thought of the big picture. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's overwhelming and you're like, I'm going to put my capacity in something else. Right. I'm going to do something else, which might not be the priority. So yeah. pretty I, important I, point right there, prioritizing and at the same time, kind of like breaking it down, because that's what yeah. you did. You broke it down into let me take minimal viable action yeah. and I'll build up from that. I'll just like document it, put it together and that'll be a plan that is going to make sense. Yeah. I, I, I think it's important of your own framework for me was like literally reach out. Why do you find out place him on either the group or a phone call, depending of the, on the qualifiers and then move forward yeah. after that, those three steps were the main steps. And then now we have a few more with bump and different things that we say, but it was developed over consistent action over that week. So remove the friction, go execute in the things that move the needle. Yeah. The I, last I want one, to put a little tangent in there super quick. I know we're running out of time, but it is. I, for, I forgot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good job, Fonzie. Hold on. I just, I just, no, it just came back. It just came back. It just came back. Okay, you need to La go to bed, man. Lack you need to sleep. go to sleep. Yes. <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, so, dude, I'm so red. Look at that. Um, <laughs> the, the thought was that you did this, even though we have the theory behind it, we kind of like knew some other people's how to's. Yeah. Right? You created your own how, yeah. which is, we've been talking a lot about this recently. And I just, I just want to invite you listening right now, think about, do I already have all the theory that I need to, to create something? And guess what? The answer is probably yes. And go out there and build your own how, what fits your capacity and your style that you can do consistently on a long basis. That, that's what you did exactly. You knew the theory, right? You knew other people's house and maybe you can grab, you know, help here and there. But at the end of the day, you didn't grab somebody else's full on decked out process based on their capacity. What you did is you build based on your capacity and you're absolutely crushing it. High five. Let's go. Awesome. Now, now we got to get <laughs> Fonzie plugged into that one. Uh, all right. The last one. And I really want to wrap up in like a minute. So Fonzie, you <laughs> want to speak on this one because we're going to wrap up the show right. strong. So the last one is belief. Yes, I know. Mushy, mushy, whatever, you know, but without belief, nothing happens. I truly believe in our product. I truly believe in our message. And above everything else, I believe in our team. 
at Beast Bros. Huge shout out to the team that has been with us for the last two years. Huge shout out to you, Fonzie, obviously. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> the blue one, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I didn't know which one it was. <laughs> yeah, and then this is, you know, what the last two weeks have been all about, you know, belief and execution. So you that are out there putting your message out there, that have a process, that are continually mm-hmm. executing, that is getting better every single day, go ahead, grab that belief, keep it close to your to your chest, right? We've There have been moments where we question the belief, right? And we go look back and we see the results, not only on the sales side, because that has been life-changing too. There's still a lot of things that we need to get better at. There's still a lot of things, that, a lot of bolts that we need to tight. But we've, I mean, the fact that we've had a team for the last two years, that is massive. Dude, mind blowing. That is massive, right? So this is a lot. So sometimes I do, I do question why? Why haven't they left? <laughs> right? Why? But I guess, I guess they like to hang out too. So if you've been <laughs> in a similar situation where your back is against the wall, where, you know, the flea, the, the flea on fire principle, you've had to apply, uh, let us know. Reach out to us, you know, uh, let me know in the comments. Let us know and through the DMs. We want to know and, and, and see if we can have a conversation because these are things that we can put in action every single day. Uh, so super excited for what's to come. Those are the three things. Quick, quick recap. Number one, change of environment, right? That allows you to kind of create more capacity and a space to breathe and reset, right? Number two, prioritize the items that move the needle forward. For us was, of course, content creation and distribution, right? And the fact that we need a speed of sales. So build at the minimum viable like process to mm. go at it. And then the last one is believe. Believe in your product. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in the people that you're helping. And it's going to move things forward. Fonzie, any Be- last words? Believe in yourself. That's right. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, Fonzie. Hey, this, this, I'm going to record a 10-second loop right here. Just make sure you loop it. It's a a ASMR. I think that's the name of it. For when you go to sleep, you can put this and just like... You know, hear it. <laughs> you can do this. That's a creepy voice. I believe, don't think I want to. Believe in yourself. <laughs> Use your voice, Batman. What's the- <laughs> I used to put it all over. Oh, wow. Uh, I, need way, to eat. I need to eat. I haven't yeah. eaten lunch. Uh, let's do this. Thank you. thank you so much, Jim. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you so much for everybody tuning in live. And with that said, thank you so much for tuning into the Contents Profit Podcast. Go ahead and follow the show on your favorite platform and on social media at Beast Bros. Go. That is right. And if today's principle help you move one step closer towards your goal, please don't forget to share this episode. Follow in and leave a five-star review. Let's go. Bye, guys.